Okay guys, the day has come. Finally, a Motor City install. Alright guys, so today we're putting on the Motor City aftermarket brush guard. Here's our lucky candidate. <laughs> um, so to do this, you gotta pop off these front panels. They're really easy to do, they just pop right off. And I actually already got this side installed so I can show you how to do this easier. Um, in here, you will see the two bolts that you need to remove on the crash bar right there and right there okay uh, they're 15 millimeter it's not too horribly hard to get in there but it's also not super easy so once you get those out you'll have your bracket okay so this is really important if you look at the instructions it'll tell you you'll see there's two sets of threaded holes on the pole okay so this needs to be facing outward while one set of holes needs to be in the front and another on the outside of the vehicle if there's any on the inside of the vehicle, you got it on the wrong side. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and break this free and get this installed, and then we'll get to mounting the bumper onto the front. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got the two bolts removed from back there. Boop, boop, boop. Here they are. Okay, like I said, they're 15 millimeter, and so now we're going to go ahead and install this. Now remember, two bolts in the front, two bolts on the outside of the vehicle, okay? So I'm going to slip that into there. And I believe we're going to need to slip it underneath the radiator hose and not on top of it. Yeah, it needs to go underneath this radiator hose. I don't know if you can see it. And you're going to line it up with the holes and put your bolts back in and tighten them down. And then we'll get on to actually putting on the front bumper. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so now we got both of these put on. We're going to put on the corner pieces, okay? So you'll see that there's a height difference. Uh, the holes are not directly in the middle, and that's because they need to be offset up high for them to fit on their adjacent sides. So, you'll get that, and you'll just get your bolt with the washer, and put it on, and we'll do both sides, and then we'll put on the centerpiece. Alrighty guys, so we got the corners on, now it's time for this big guy. So we're going to get this all lined up, put on, and then we'll get the bolts in place, and we'll be finished with it. Alright guys, so here's the Motor City aftermarket brush guard bumper for the Jeep Renegade. Overall, pretty easy install. Took a little bit longer than 20 or 30 minutes just because anytime you do something at first, it's, you know, first time always takes a while. Um, overall, super easy. It's held on by two, four, six, eight bolts in the front and the two on the inside. But yeah, looks nice, gives you a little extra added protection. It's not heavy at all. So you shouldn't see any sag in the front or loss of gas mileage unless that's from wind but I highly doubt it for this thing and it's really open in the middle so all your airflow you didn't lose any airflow and we're gonna end up attaching this light bar we're gonna drill two holes here they have already pre-cut holes if you want to do that but we already got this one so we're just gonna do that but yeah there's that and hope you enjoy if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more and yeah catch you later